Okay. okay. This will be my first proper bit of exercise for a good two weeks. Never mind a walk, never mind the spin bike, the home gym, anything. This will be the first thing I do for a long, long time. And I'm gonna take it steady. Boom. Couple hundred calories done, couple hundred calories burned there. Nice and slow, nice and steady on the bike. The pure goal was to just get the blood flowing, the blood pumping around the body, and I feel like we did that. Couple hundred calories down. In the meantime, two birds, one stone. It's good. On with the day. So, haul is done, and you can check out yesterday's video if you have not seen it already. For the full story on that, a couple of giveaways in there and stuff for you guys as well. And um, what I'm going to do now is put on the t-shirt that I unboxed in that haul. Um, it's basically an oversized kind of XL. Well, I, I hope it's oversized. Anyway, it's just an, an XL really. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Slightly baggy. I probably could have gone for an X, XL purely because it's just, it's just cotton. But it'll do. It's nice. It's cool. It's swag. I like it. And I'll tell you what else I like, people. I like the sound of my first home gym session in about three weeks. Proper one anyway, because you know, the last one, was, yeah, it do doesn't really count. I, it's, it's a good video title, okay? It's a good video title. Drop this video a like if you have not already. Subscribe if you are new, stick around people. We have gone full kit for today. These are my protein shorts, my protein top, my protein cap. Did I mention I have a discount code? It's linked in the description box. Okay, first exercise. Lat pull down. I'm gonna set my watch up. <sighs> and let's go. People. I can feel it. I'll be honest, the past few days, I kind of looked at myself in the mirror and thought, it just kind of got to that point where I was like, ah, oh, okay, you look really soft, bro. <laughs> My stomach still isn't 100% there. If, that, if you knew here, that, that's the reason why I haven't trained, hence the reason for the title of this video, hence the reason for this kind of, this method of training, what we're doing over the next few days. I'm going to be doing three sessions this week, full body workouts, one push, one pull, one legs, um, kind of emphasis on each one. That is how we're going to be doing this week, just to kind of ease myself back into it. What I'm actually doing today is decreasing the weight, increasing the reps because my body just hasn't moved like that in those specific kind of pathways it hasn't done that for like three weeks and that is a long time for me because i think the longest i've ever had out of the gym well it's probably that amount of time that i've had just now um since i kind of started so you know it is what it is but we've just got to adjust things just a little bit just until our body kind of gets back into it gets used to it again we don't want to die straight in and then injure ourselves and then not be able to train for another three weeks that would just be dumb <laughs> Let me tell you people, 36 calories in in five minutes, not too bad for the old strength training.
is that I feel tight, very, very tight. Like my muscles just haven't moved, haven't worked properly. If you don't use it, you lose it. You know that old saying? I feel a little bit like that right now. So, I think what we're gonna do is before this kind of happened, stomach bug and all that, I was repping out at 90. So I think I'm gonna take that down by about 10% and call it 80 and up the reps and just see how we get on. Remember, this is just to get the blood flowing, get the muscles moving, get the joints moving. Even when I pushed up to the top then, my elbows just felt like a sharp pain just because they haven't had that load on them for a long time. And that's a big deal to me. I'm an old man inside a, a young man's body. <laughs> it always have been, unfortunately. Gotta do some more stuff to kind of combat that because it's not good. It's not good enough on my part. I'm working on it, people. I am working on it. <sighs> for eight, paused. This is uncharted territory, people. It's just a phase. We've got to go through it to get back into it. Now we're getting it now. Just took us a while to to warm up. I'll take that for today though and move on. Through the grapevine people, through whether you want to call them a reliable source or not is uh, entirely up to you, but from some gym owners, I have heard that they might be opening sooner rather than later. And by that I don't mean next week, I mean over the next few weeks, perhaps within you know four to six weeks, they might be open again. That's good news, purely because the best gym series will make a return. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be sprinting there straight away. I will save that for the people that haven't been fortunate enough to have a home gym. I assume they're gonna like limit capacity and stuff so it would be done with me to kind of rush there with a group of you guys. It probably just won't be allowed for now anyway. So, stay tuned on that. It is by no means government legislation or anything like that. But I have heard through the grapevine that over the next few weeks, gyms will begin to reopen. They've opened in France and in Australia, from my knowledge. I just poke myself in the eye. So hopefully, sooner rather than later, they'll be open here too. And the best gym series and your friggin' gym sessions can make a return. Make a return with the OHP plan, huh? Huh? Link in description. Time for chest flies. So one thing I've definitely noticed um, today is just my, my fatigue. Has, has come on a lot quicker, you know, I've done less weight, I've done slightly more reps, slightly different style of training to what I'm used to anyway, um, but having said that, I'm going to stick to pyramids like I usually would on here, but the fatigue has just come on a little bit quicker, I'm a little bit more tired, the energy's just not quite there, the stamina's not quite there, so we've got to build that back up over the next couple of weeks, over the next few sessions, and hopefully sooner rather than later, again, we'll be back to normal. Veins popping, vacuums cleaning, and we'll be good. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Just gotta be patient. I need to stop talking. I'm out of breath. Check it, we're sweating. Look how much my fringe has grown too. Madness, mate. <laughs> So we increase the reps and 
decrease the weight again on lateral raises. That is just the kind of the theme that we are going to be following for the next two or three workouts. And then we'll start to get back to normal because to be honest, as this has gone along, I felt better. Um, I felt more kind of in the flow, in the, in the flow of things, should I say. I don't really know how to say it, to be honest. I feel better now than I did at the start of the session going into it. I didn't really feel like doing it, if I'm honest. Um, but just need, sometimes you just need to get a bit of a sweat on and, you know, get a bit of a, get a, bit of a pump going, you know. This, this bloody squiggle that you guys always point out all the time, that's been like indented in my arm. I've been that flat. I just haven't done anything that is worthy of, of pumping blood around my body. Not properly anyway. Obviously I did that cardio and I've done a few bits here and there. But I'm excited, very, very excited to get back into the swing of things. I have plans that I am very excited to kind of unveil, if you like. Some shredding dates have been announced, so I'm, I'm kind of working out my plan, my workout plan, my diet plan, everything like that for the next, I think it's like 18 weeks until October 10th. There we go. It, it, it was October 10th. I said it in the last video, but I thought it was. I just wasn't 100% sure. October 10th is the um, in-person summer training date, so I assume the online date will be the exact same. We are going to be working towards that date from here on out, um, one way or another. We're going to adjust the goals once we're kind of back to 100%. <laughs> You're right there. You're right there. You need a uh, you need help with your uh, your exercises there. I'm actually a personal trainer, um, so you know you need help with your squatting or anything like that. Just let me know. No thanks. I'll be my so, pajamas. No, no, no. Because no, like I'm actually a personal trainer, so what I can do is I can actually help you perfect your for your form and you know help you progress in the gym. All it will cost you is ninety pound a minute. <laughs> we watch you. And it's a minimum of six months constant course. Uh, okay, you know. Yeah. That's all it will cost. Thanks. But you know, you've got to see it as an investment, investment in yourself, an investment in your future and your health. That's how you've got to see it, really. Totally. You know, it can be a bit costly, I agree. I do agree. I do agree. But you know, you just, you just got to see it as an investment, you know? Yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. So what I'll do is I'll set you in for a free session. Yeah. That free session costs is two and a half minutes. That would usually cost £946. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that to you today for free. Thanks. Okay, because You're I'm so a personal kind. trainer. I'm a personal trainer. That's so nice. Sorry, I don't know if you heard me. I said I'm a personal trainer. I know, I can tell okay. by your outfit. Okay. But Charlotte said I look like a personal trainer in this outfit, and to be honest, I couldn't agree more because I've got my Apple Watch on, my bright red freaking shoes, and I was actually carrying a plate a look across the gym like this. I was just walking along, and she just goes, you look like a personal trainer. I was like, I am one. I could also go for the old um, skin tight, overly tight fit that, you know, just to show that I do actually lift, I do actually go to the gym. You see this right here? This is my pet talk. Man, oh man. Okay, righty ho everybody. Pump acquired, and that's that for today. Okay, I think I might jump on the bike for a few minutes just to do a bit of a cool down, you know, as you would advise if you were training someone else. I'm gonna take that advice myself and do a bit of a cool down. And then I'm feeling some refreshers. Don't know about you. Mm -hmm. So we have the pick of the bunch today. Bit of lemon, mojito, peach tea, strawberry, but we are gonna go for some refreshers, clear way isolate. Not only that, we are gonna use this new Shakespeare shaker here. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna be with the clear way because clear way frosts up um, a fair bit, but supposedly it's just perfectly round and you know, it just mixes it a lot easier than let's say one, one of these shakers, you know? One thing I have immediately noticed, um, I mean obviously I've filled it up a couple of times now, rinsed it out and all that kind of stuff, is that um, it does, the lid comes on and off um, a lot easier than others. It's not such a, it's a very swift and ergonomic movement, should I say, rather than it being <clears throat> a pain. Ergonomic is the biggest word Liam knows, so he has to get it in there when he can. It's a good word, isn't it? Got me an A in GCSE DT, that did. It's actually a rather more pleasant experience, um, you know? 
using it rather than thinking, oh, is it on, is it not? I just spilt that everywhere. You kind of just, watch me mess this up now. You can quite literally just place it and spin it like that. So the thing is with this shaker, is it, what is it with me and doing that? You need to slide it over like so before you <laughs> shake it. It fully splashed it, all over the window, it, so. Yeah, I know. So one thing I did notice when I was shaking it is that it does feel slightly different when you shake it. It's perfectly round rather than it getting kind of stuck in the corners. It's not very noisy. Yeah, it's a bit quieter. And jobs are good in there, ladies and gentlemen. We all slide it. That's actually quite difficult to slide off. That's not a bad thing, but, hmm. I've never tasted this before. I wonder how it tastes, babe. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that tastes like refreshers, you know. So would you like to grab yourself one of these Shakespeare shakers? Um, if you like limited edition stuff that you're not gonna be able to get, that not many, not many other people are gonna have, I guarantee you, you will not see someone else in the gym with this limited edition shaker. You might see them with a black one, but this white one is a 16th birthday limited edition thing along with this, so. Go and snag some using the link in the description box down below. LSJ at checkout will save yourself a couple of quid. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, please do me a massive favor. Drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe. If you are new, it would really help us out. And let us know what you want to see next because the next one will be on Sunday. I've got something in my head for that. But following on from that, next week's videos, what would you like to see? Drop a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That was my first session back and hopefully you guys can maybe take something from it for when you kind of go back into the gym for yourself. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> let me know. Hopefully you do. Hope you enjoyed it regardless and I will see you all in the next one.